do. So, counseling round two. I just did it today. And I was a lot more relaxed because now I knew what to expect. And, you know, I had already gotten over the biggest hill last time, which was to admit out loud that I'm dealing with emotional abuse. And this time, you know, I was able to just express myself about things that, you know, that I kind of have trouble expressing a lot of the time. And it's negative emotions that I struggle to express in a healthy way because I was never taught how to. And, you know, I talked to Dr. F about a really massive bad fight that I had with my dad where I said some really terrible things, but I F-bombed my dad, which needed doing. I needed to say F you to my father, to my dad, the man who sperm created me for my whole life, and I did. You know, I said F you to my dad. Obviously the full word, I'm not gonna say it here because I'm trying to keep my channel somewhat clean of language, but, um, but I talked about that fight and I talked about how I don't regret saying that to him. I do not regret saying F you to my dad because he has said that to me. Well, he hasn't said that to me, but I've held it back. But, you know, he's called me things that I won't repeat. But I said F you to my dad and I talked about how I regret that I hurt his feelings but I don't regret saying that. And I'm not apologized for saying that. Because my dad's favorite trick is to make me feel guilty for being angry and make me apologize for having emotions. That is one of his tricks that, you know, it can still work on me sometimes. But, you know, the whole situation happened because he had invalidated me when I was feeling really low and I just exploded at him. But, you know, I talked to Dr. F about this and I talked about all kinds of things that he did when I was growing up that just, you know, made me just hate myself and just, you know, contributed to so many mental complexes that I have. Like, if I make a mistake or drop something by accident, my instinct is to get mad and yell at myself and be like, dang it, I did it, I dropped it, okay, excuse me, dang it, you know, except not quite so polite. I tend to swear a bit. Or I just get upset like, you know, and because when I was a kid, if I would do something completely accidental that was obviously an accident, I would get yelled at like it was my fault. So I was basically, you know, my dad basically trained me to react to my mistakes with anger and rage and disgust. So even a simple mistake like I dropped my water bottle or I knocked something over, I just like, I just, I panic and freak out. And, you know, and now that I'm an adult, you know, if something happens in front of my dad and I just go, dang it, you know, and I just acknowledge it by a moment of anger, he'll go, what are you so mad about? Like he trained me to behave a certain way and then he, then he makes me feel bad for doing it after he has taught me that all my life. So you can imagine how confused I am as a person, right? Well. Dr. F, you know, I was talking and saying all these things, just expressing all of these things, just basically just like magma boiling over, just these, this anger and these feelings, like an abscess being squeezed. And, you know, she let me talk. She did not interrupt. She just let me talk or she would guide the conversation. Like, that sounds like that made you feel bad. Do you want to tell me more about that? You know, because sometimes I might say something and try to move on because it's too uncomfortable. And she would kind of make me get uncomfortable, but in a safe way. She'd be like, no, explore this. Why did you feel this way? You know, and so, you know, I just, I said a whole bunch of stuff. And then, you know, after I had said it all and I kind of, you know, I kind of breathed out. I just calmed myself down a bit because, you know, to remember is to feel for me. So I was reacting emotionally to what I was remembering to tell her these things. And she said, and I quote, it sounds like you have trouble forgiving yourself. Well, yeah. That was a thing I did not recognize in myself, and that's what a big problem that I have is, is that self-forgiveness. What the hell is that? 
Yeah, I just swore, but that's a mild one. But what the hell is self-forgiveness? I That's what I said to her. And she's like, it's something you have to practice. And she's like, well, what is it like when you forgive somebody else? And, you know, and I tell her, well, somebody, you know, somebody does something that hurts me or upsets me and they say I'm sorry. And I just, I take a minute and I just like, okay, I'll let it go. You know, let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Uh, don't, don't get me started on that song. But, you know, I sang a little bit in the office just for fun. But, um, but she said, now, do you know what that feels like for another person? Now you need to start practicing feeling that way towards yourself. Which was kind of like the sun coming out of the clouds moment for me because I never considered forgiving myself for anything. I was taught that I am unforgivable. I was taught that, you know, that only Jesus Christ hanging on the cross has any kind of power to forgive me. And that's not even the things I've done. It's just the original sin, you know, kind of a thing, which is, you know, a Catholic religious thing. But anyway, atheists, don't bother me about that, okay? But just like, but as a person, personally, you know, like, I make a mistake and I just hate myself for weeks for it. Even a minor thing, like I said the wrong word, or I accidentally knocked somebody's water over or something. It's like, I, I was taught to just, when I make those mistakes, I am the worst person ever and that I don't deserve any goodness or anything. And, you know, that's what I said to her. And she said, you have to practice self-forgiveness. And she said that she understands that it's hard because of the kind of life that I've led. But, but I told her, well, how do I do it? What if I, instead of getting mad at myself, I just, I tell myself I'm sorry when I make mistakes. And she's like, that can work. You know, if, if that's what's going to make it work for you, just do that. So that's my homework is that when I make mistakes, instead of going, dang it, at myself and just loudly acknowledging that, hey, I screwed up, look world, I screwed up, that I'm just gonna kinda say, I'm sorry. I'm just, tell myself I'm sorry so that I can forgive myself, if that makes sense. So, I'm gonna work on forgiving myself more, which is gonna be a lot of work for me because almost 39 years of being taught that every mistake I make is the worst thing I could ever do. So you can imagine how much work I have to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's daunting, it's scary, but I've got to do this because this is a change I have to make. Because in changing myself, I'm making myself better because you know, like I said, like I've been saying so many times that I've got to take myself apart piece by piece and examine, this is a piece. And tell yourself you're sorry. Here's a piece. Here's a, here's a piece of this puzzle of yourself. Tell yourself you're sorry. I'm sorry, self. You know, I've got to work on saying I'm sorry to myself instead of, oh my god, you're such a jerk. And stuff like that. So... That's my homework, is forgiving myself. And it's going to be hard. But I'm going to do this. Because I want to be a better person. And I am tired of hating myself so much. Because, you know, I can say I love myself, but 90% of the time I don't. But I want to. You know, I want to be like, hey, I like you, to myself. And that's work too. But right now, forgiveness of the self that's my goal. So anyway, counseling round two, nailed it. Bye.